Okay, welcome back. This is 5.2, measuring area and volume. So our objectives are use square units to measure area, use dimensional, dimensional analysis to change units for area, and use cubic units to measure volume, and then use English and metric units to measure capacity. So measuring area, so a square unit, a square each of whose side is one unit in length. So one square unit is a one by one. One square inch is one inch by one inch. And one square centimeter is one centimeter one by one centimeter. And those are denoted by one inch squared and one centimeter squared. So it says measuring area. So it says, what is the area of this region? So each little square is a square unit. So if we count, so this is one, two, three, four, and let's just erase. <laughs> two, three. So four by three, which would be 12 squares. Or if you counted all three of your squares, then it's that 12 square units. All right, square units of measure. So one foot is the same as 12 inches. So the area for this one is one times one, so one foot squared. But in inches, it's 12 by 12, so 12 times 12 would be 144 inches squared. Same with the yard, one times one is one yard squared. And then if we put it in feet, there's three feet in a yard. So it'd be three by three or three times three, which makes nine feet squared. And then here's some just conversion rates for us. So one square foot is 144 square inches. One square yard is nine square feet. One acre is 43,560 feet squared or 4,840 yards squared. So those are just for you to reference back to. Oh, and one square mile is 640 acres. And then you could convert it to feet or yards if you needed to, if that was part of your assignment or the question you're working on on your assignment. All right, so the first one it says, after Alaska, Wyoming is the least densely populated state. The population of Wyoming is 568,000. It must be missing a comma somewhere. Their commas are off on this slide. So, oh, there's just an extra eight here. I don't know where that eight came from, but we'll just pretend that that eight was not there. And then, and it says, and its area is 97,093 square miles. What is Wyoming's population density? So we compute population density by dividing Wyoming's population by its area. So population over area. So we have 585,000 and then 97,000 and 0.93. So we're gonna divide that and get the density. So if you get out your calculator, so 585 divided by, let's see, what was that number? So 585, 501 divided by 97093. So we get 6.03. 
And if we round that to one decimal, it's 6.0. So 6. So there's 6.0 people per square mile of area. This means there is an average of only six people for each square mile of area. All right, so then we have metric equivalence in addition to our normal measuring system here. Usually metric, the metric system, you'll see that used in other countries, but for the United States, we mostly use our English measuring units. So inches, feet, yards, miles, and acre. All right, so let's look here. So it says a property in Italy is advertised as 545,000 for 6.8 hectares acres, hectares. All right, so we want to convert 6.8 to hectares to area. So we use a unit fraction with acres in the numerator and hectares in the denominator. So we look here, one acre is equal to 0.4 hectares. So how we would write that is 6.8 over one times one over 0.4 hectares or HA and HA and then our acre. So then we cross off those units and then we have 6.8 divided by 0.4 and then we do that in our calculator. So let's clear this. Okay, so 6.8 divided by 0.4, we get 17. So 17, oh, this shouldn't have carried the acres with it. So 17 acres, and you'll see that here. So then it says price per acre so that means we want to divide those. So 545,000 divided by 17. So dollars and acre. So same thing in the calculator. So 545,23 divided by 17. We get 32,000 and fifty eight dollars and eighty two cents but if we're rounding that to the dollar it would be fifty nine dollars so let's go back here and write it in our notes so thirty two thousand and fifty nine dollars per acre All right, measuring volume. So volume, you want to think about it is in 3D. And those are like 3D shapes that you're looking at and the space that it's filling that 3D image. So we want our three dimensions. So that's usually height, weight, width, not weight, <laughs> height, width, and length. For those. So one cubic foot is one inch cubed if we were looking at this. But if we were, oh, one cubic foot cubed. And then if we were doing it in inches, it's 12 inches cubed. 
which is 1728 cubic inches. If we're looking at a yard, so one cubic yard is, this should be to the third. And then 27 cubic feet would be that yard, because remember there's three feet in the yard. And those are kind of shapes to represent the cubes. All right. Looking at our next thing, it says, what is the volume of this solid? So we determine the volume by counting the number of cubic units contained within the unit. So here we see how the cubic units fit within the region, and then there are 18 cubic units. So if you look kind of at the top here, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 9 of those, and then we'll have another 9 on the bottom. So 9 plus 9 equals 18. Or you can think about it as 9 times 2 to get how many units are in there. All right, units for capacity. So those are English units of capacity. So it's usually like our liquids or fluids that we look at for these. So 2 pints equals 1 quart. Four quarts equals one gallon, one gallon equals 128 ounces, and one cup equals eight ounces. And usually like you use that for cooking and stuff like that. And then volume in cubic units, capacity, and these are like for measuring, like for like cement, if you're pouring cement, or um, different things like that. So one cubic yard is about 200 gallons. One cubic foot is about 7.48 gallons, and 231 cubic inches is about one gallon. All right. Looking at an example, so it says a swimming pool has a volume of 22,500 cubic feet. How many gallons of water does the pool hold? So we want to get it in feet and then gallons. So remember one cubic foot is. 7.48 gallons. So we want to get it in feet or like get rid of our feet here. So we do 22500 zero, zero over 1 times 7.48 over 1 and then that cancels out that feet measurement. So then you have 22500 zero, zero, Four eight gallons. So then we want to do that in our calculator. So we have two two five zero zero times seven point four eight. So we get 168,300 gallons. That's a lot of gallons. So one, you would definitely have a high water bill if you decided to get a pool and fill it up. So that's a lot of water, 168,300 gallons. So remember gallons is like your jug of milk if you drink milk. So think about that. You have 168,300 gallons. 
and you're filling up the swimming pool with that amount. So it's a lot. All right, another unit of measurement is our metric system for measuring our liquids or fluids. So we have kiloliter, hectoliter, decaliter, liter, deciliter, centiliter, and milliliter. Normally, in like day-to-day -day life, you'll see liters and milliliters. Usually you don't see kiloliter, hectoliter, decaliters, and even deciliters or celliliters. Usually it's just in liters or milliliters. And then just know that one liter is equivalent to 1.06 quarts. And then it has the units to get it back to the liter so you can convert those. All right, and then the volume. So one centimeter cube is equal to one milliliter. One decimeter cubed is one liter or 1,000 centimeters cubed is one liter. And then one milliliter, oh no. Did they forget the L on that one? They might have. One meter cubed? I'm thinking that's meter and not the milliliters, because these are centimeters, and that would be a decimeter. So one meter cubed is going to be one kiloliter for capacity. All right, so let's look at an example. So it says an aquarium has a volume of 36,000 cubic centimeters. How many liters of water does it take, does the aquarium hold? So we'll use the unit of fraction, so one liter over 1,000 centimeters cubed. So our centimeters, so 36,000 centimeters cubed over one, and then one liter over 1,000 centimeters cubed. And then that gets rid of our centimeters units. So we have 36,000 over 1,000 liters, which turns into 36 liters of water. And then if you wanted to see, like, what's that in quarts, what's that in gallons, you could do the conversion rate for that back into quarts, and then you would take the quarts and turn it into gallon because there's four quarts in a gallon.